Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My dear students, today we are going to talk about something new. It's narrative writing. So, what is narrative writing? You know that writing is something very important for us. And it's the way to express our feelings and what's inside us. Or to talk about uh, things we are thinking about. So, let's now start with what's narrative writing. And narrative writing is a story containing specific elements that work together to create interest for not only the author, but also for the reader. This type of writing makes the reader feel as if he or she were part of the story, as if it was being told directly to him or her. So, before starting, we have to know some elements of narrative writing. What are the elements of narrative writing? The first thing is blot. The who or what, where, when, why, and how I would like that give narrative direction. What is the story about? Events unfold as they happen. The frame of the narrative. So now let's talk about the structure of the plot. What the structure of narrative writing? The beginning. Here, as we come to begin, we have to use something interesting to attract the reader, to be inciting, opening to capture reader's interest. Setting revealed, also main characters introduced, conflict presented. Let's complete. The middle of the plot must contain characters attempt to resolve conflict or problems. Action progresses sequentially, step by step. Now, the climax. The turning point of the narrative. Reveal the process involved the solving of the conflicts. Let's continue. So, we have the end. How can we end our narrative? Tell us how the resolution of the conflicts have affected the characters. New new characters or plot ideas introduced theme or message understood by the reader. So, let's talk in details about some elements of narrative writing. First, characters. What are characters? The people, animal, or animate objects of who are affected by the action of the blood or who are the cause of certain events. Characters, real or imaginative, should be brought to life through the narrative. If a character is not described well, you know, the story will not be believable. Season. Where and when the narrative takes place. Allow the reader to visualize the scene and the characters in those scenes. Although the setting may be clear for the author, he or she must create a picture of the readers. What about style? The figurative language, like similes, metaphors, etc., 
Sensory imagery, vivid, verbs, strong senses, dialogue, and point of view, what makes each author unique? Every student has his or her own style and technique. Although we have the same topic, everyone will write differently. The conflict also something important to reveal it during our writing. What's conflict? Of course, you know, this is a problem that must be overcome or resolved so that the readers will not be left hanging. Okay, now let's talk about different types of conflict. Person versus self. Person versus person. Person versus society. Person versus machine or technology. Let's talk in details about them. Person versus nature. So we have many things to talk about. Now let's talk about them in details, okay? So, person versus self, how? One month ago, A.B. was assigned a book to read for a book report. Upon sitting at the computer to work on it, A.B. struggled with the decision to do the reading or to serve the web instead. She felt guilty, knew she should do the work, but was ready motivated by her desire to look up new information about her favorite rock, rock band. So, it was an example for person to self. Now, here an example for person to person, or person versus person. So, let's read this short story. Abby and her best friend, Megan, all went together on a group project. Amy didn't do any work, leaving it all for Megan to do. When the girls get together to do the project, Megan finds out Amy didn't do any work. She becomes angry, yells at Amy, and storms out of the room. So, here is an example for person versus society. Abby needs to go to the library to begin working on her project. When she arrives, she finds out that Javis here under the age of 18 can't enter the library without a parent. Her mom is at work. Abby is mad about this thing. Totally out of her control. She writes a letter to the library expressing her disgust. So, I think this is the last example for person versus machine or technology. Amy begins her labor finally. Oh, the sorry. There is a power surge and her computer crashes. Oh my God. She loses all the information that she has been working for for hours. Person versus natural. Sorry, you have. More one than one here. Abby tries to remember exactly where she left her book for the reward. This is person versus nature and maybe the last one for us. Okay, so let's read it again. Amy tries to remember exactly where she left her book for the reward. She remembered that she was sitting on the bench outside of her house. So she returns to that spot. She finds it. However, it had rained the night before, and the book is now in shambles. So, what's the theme? I think we talked about talk about before. So, you know, what's a, a theme? A theme is a message revealed in the story. It may be directly stated like in a fable where the moral is told at the conclusion, or it may be indirect, leaving the reader to decide the story's message. 
there can be more than one theme for the narrative. So, different points of view, and this is how can we write. So, who is telling the story? First person point of view, if someone is telling us the story, I, as the narrator, good for personal accounts. Example, I will never forget the day that my hamster died. Third person point of view, he or she or it or they. Perspective. Written as if the story is observed from outside of the characters, or someone is talking about the characters. Reader must guess the feeling of the characters by their action and words. For example, he pounded his fist against the wall and screamed, let me out. Okay, so let's talk about third person point of view. He, she, it, they, perspective. Narrator can write about the thoughts and feelings of all the characters. For example, she called him a liar, so she knew he was telling the truth. By the end of our lesson today, we have some questions to be answered. So, here are five questions. Who will be the narrative? Where will the narrative take place? Why will the characters do what they do? What is the narrative about? When will the events happen? Thank you very much for having this listen to me about writing. See you, inshallah, again.